Hosanna. Hello. AKA Hattori. What's up? Is it Hattori or Hattori? You know what? Neither. <laughs> <laughs> it's Hattori. Hattori. But you know what? I it's really weird. I feel weird saying it myself. Do you? I do. I'm not Why is that? To... Oh. Because it, it, it's one of those like I don't know, it still feels like not a real thing. Oh, so interesting. Yeah. It. It's like been my stage name for a while. Yeah. And I still doesn't feel Yeah. I, I don't know. I'll get there maybe. maybe. No. I get it. The yeah. I think special name. Uh well I so Baptisia is the band concept I have and I don't have a band. So uh <laughs> And I don't really have any full band arrangements for any of my songs yet. So, but Baptisia is kind of the, I, that's the direction I want to go someday. Um, and it is a flower. I could find some pictures and share. Baptisia Australis is the initial flower I saw. I always wanted to have the concept named around some kind of a flower or a plant or something. Um, yeah. So. I like that. And I thought, you know, not to give away too much of the secret secret machinations that go on but i was thinking uh there are all kinds of different varietals and i was thinking i could use the latin names for the ep names that's cool right so australius would be one of them and then um i can't remember the other names but and then the artwork would have some of some version of that incorporated yeah, it's all so cohesive that's brilliant well that's i just it seemed easy because i'm not really a visual um I struggle with visual art or visual concepts. And I thought, oh, there's a theme I could like right. just tell a designer or whoever. That makes sense. This is what I want it to be about. So brilliant. <clears throat> Thank you. A yes. time and then you'll have a band and I... all your EPs <laughs> Well, Hosanna DeSano. I'm Jeremy Herzer. We are, I would say, old friends at this point, going back a ways. We know each other from doing music for church and other events we played taste of colorado paid uh had Tory songs for taste of colorado which is still a highlight uh in my mind what a great night um and you've been really busy lately writing and releasing or writing recording releasing music yeah. um yeah. i've been really focused this last year on songwriting i think we've both been writing for a long time but it seems like we're both kind of trying to kick it into another gear exactly um and um so we had this idea that maybe we should do a start the new year with a songwriting challenge. I think we originally got to do it like November, mm -hmm. but, but then we didn't. Right. Which or... <laughs> was, I was sick for like two months. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, but... yeah, no, it's uh, it's funny how, like, cause I think when we came up with the idea, we were, we had many months ahead of that. We're like, ah, November. Sure. And, but here we are. I'm really glad uh, we're doing this. So the goal is <clears throat> we're each going to, write uh and uh, just a basic recording like uh, my recording today was on my phone uh just an mp3 on my phone of a song with uh, just basic instrumentation and i think we wanted to say like two and a half minutes as kind of a minimum threshold so um lyrics music etc and did i miss anything in there or we're i don't think so i mean this yeah. is our first one so if we want to add parameters, we'll do yeah. that for now. This is yeah. I'm so I'm, yeah. I love it. <clears throat> uh, I did want to give a shout out to um, the, there's a, a podcast called the Weekly Song Podcast, and it's hosted by uh, these two lovely British uh, gentlemen, Declan Kitchener, Kitchener and uh, Roger Heathers. And uh, I've just been listening for a long time. And so a season for them, uh, I don't know exactly how long it is, but they write each of them writes a song every week. And so I've been consuming that. I've just learned about it this year and I've been consuming it uh, repeatedly, like going back to episodes and listening. And they are both fantastic uh, musicians and songwriters and uh, they're really good with theory as well. So um, I don't know if you've had a chance to listen to any of that or, I yeah. Have. I just, uh, <laughs> just a few of them, but I was actually really um, inspired by their little uh tangents about music history yeah yeah artists and their backgrounds and like little stories here and there that i was like oh, there's always yeah. something you know to every yeah. so that was cool yeah. yeah very inspiring and their songs uh, i think i mean 
there's a lot I like about their process and kind of listening to them. One, they're friends, and it's always those are my favorite podcasts is when you feel like you're listening to two friends talk. But uh, two is like you hear they just approach songwriting in a very different way than I ever have, and um, and and that shows in the results that they'll produce a song every week that I'm like. I literally don't know if I could have, if I had set out to write that exact song, I don't think I could have. And I just love how every person brings to bear all their, like you said, their, their influences, their history, all those stories, all those, all those songs they've written before or songs they wanted to write, but never wrote. And how that kind of all just comes out when you sit down to do this. So, yeah. So thank you. Weekly song podcast. Thank you. Uh, Roger and Declan, and um, um, if I just encourage everybody, if you get an opportunity to check it out, and they're uh, lovely guys. I interacted a little bit with Roger on Instagram. Uh, he's a really great dude, and was really encouraging. His his, uh, I told him about this, and he said, um, "Oh, please send us your songs that we come up with." Not this week. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe another week. Uh, I kind of felt the same way. Uh, and then uh, he was like, "Yeah, the biggest." piece of advice I give you is like, there's no power greater than having a deadline and a, an accountability partner for uh, writing a song. So like, there you go. Absolutely. It, it <laughs> worked. It yeah. Really, Cause I was scrambling <laughs> up until literally three minutes ago <laughs> <laughs> to get this done <laughs> and it worked. Yeah. It's done. I love it. <clears throat> well, um, Hosanna, do you, I would love to hear your song or do you want me to start with mine? I don't mind either. Okay. Way. Okay. Are you a Zoom? Are you a Zoom aficionado? Uh, well, n aficionado, that's a stretch, but okay. I do share my sound. So, okay. How about I share my screen? And that sounds... I, I just recorded it in my, my logic. Great. So, do you want a little background on this? <clears throat> well, why don't you, I, I was thinking, why don't we just listen and then, and then tell me, and I might, uh, I'm actually going to take some, give me just a second here. I'm going to take some notes. Okay. Yes, please. Give me just a second oh, I'm here. Because I want to. Well, here's the good news. I am a huge fan of yours. And um, <clears throat> also, I have just written a shit song. So <laughs> you, you have an ally. <laughs> you have an ally in me. So. Oh, God. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sure it's shit. Yeah. Let me see here. I've already written such shit. <laughs> here we go i'm trying to open my notebooks yeah we'll just do it here <clears throat> all right blow my mind hosanna okay here we go i found your bone from a crack in the brick wall a supernatural encounter i don't know how you got there, but I'm glad you did. Cause when it breaks, yeah, of course, that's what you said. Nobody ever means that in a good way. I have a feeling you know something that I did. Cut me loose, I swear. From an earth like place without all of the madness and made up games, my pension for sadness. I know you think it's strange that I'm insecure. Come back here and say it to my face. I know you're right, but I don't have to like it. Why do you have to make me feel so, feel so? You should know. 
I loved it. <clears throat> I'm so glad you do because you know, you know when you write a song and then like at the end of it you're like why yep. do I do this? Yep. Yeah, that was this one. This one this one had me question <clears throat> everything that I knew. I loved it. What's the title of this song? You know, I actually don't really have one. Okay. Probably I, I don't know. Real. Let's call it real. Okay. Let's see, real is your working title. Oh, Hosanna. Can I can I give you some notes and then I want to ask you some questions about, or 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 not give you some notes. Sorry, just share some observations I had. Um, one, Hosanna. That melody, right off the bat in the verse, was. I think it's just the pairing of your voice, <clears throat> your chords, and that melody was perfect. It was like, I just felt pulled in like right away. Um, and again, I think part of that is your, that's another thing I love about your music is your vocals are so emotive and um, you just like, they, I feel like with your voice, there is a story that's not communicated or, or that you don't need lyrics to communicate. So whatever the, at any of the other songs I've heard you do, your Hattori songs, like you just have a, a knack for like giving a vocal performance that adds kind of that unspoken layer of communication. And in this, like immediately, I was like, oh my God, I'm about to have my heart broken. <laughs> just hearing your voice and not knowing what the song was about, but hearing your voice with that melody. So um, just beautiful. Just That's Thank you. Really beautiful. Uh, I really like the lift in the pre-chorus. Um, mm -hmm. I like that progression a lot. Um, uh, and I really liked in verse two. So you go from that big kind of drawn out reel and then back into kind of a more staccato is the wrong word, but kind of a staccato, yeah, almost yeah. rapid fire lyrical uh, approach to verse two. So I really like that as well. Um, I thought <laughs> this was great. Yeah. It's oh, really my. beautiful. You, you can do my face, but I'm very grateful that you <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's a good song. I think you should be proud of this. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. I guess it's, you know, it's the first of the year. Why not? For, for a, you know, a 24 hour. Right. Uh, that's pretty <laughs> impressive. So did you, did you have a, a an idea going into this? A particular song did you say like oh, this is the topic i'm going to write about or did you yeah no so okay this, this was actually kind of fun so i was recording my own process and really like thinking out loud okay how do i write songs you yeah know? like every time i've written a song it's it's, it's kind of just started with something that wasn't planned yeah. you know what i mean yeah mm -hmm. and most of them I, it wasn't like i sat down and i was like i want to write this type of song and then i did it it was always like i have an idea boom i have a chord progression i'll start there or whatever um what i did this time around because i wanted it to be kind of just out of nowhere um i literally picked up a book and then i picked five random words in it wow i i basically brainstormed some sentences some phrases some words just from those kind of tying those random words together yeah creates these other new concepts um and then from that came out this idea of um it, it, i kind of all started with that very first line i, I found you growing from the crack in a brick wall mm. that made me think of this person that i met it was an old friend of mine you know, over 10 years ago and uh, she was just like a magician magical person who just yeah. didn't make sense in the context of where she was and this was her own brilliant thing and it didn't make sense that she was thriving the way that she was um 
and I know I've written a song about her before, but um, yeah, she had unfortunately passed away. Hmm. A while ago. But yeah, she she's one of those like really special people that I keep coming back mm-hmm. to. That first line kind of made me go in that direction. Yeah. So, yeah. Awesome. My goodness, that's that's fantastic. <laughs> Did you find so? You think that's a process you would repeat? I think I would, but I might. I think I would use it more so if I get stuck. Like I see. More as like a little jump, that, you know. Yeah. I think I have a lot of um, topics that I would already like to write about. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Versus showing up with. Yeah. Yeah. But I feel like I, I that felt like cheating. Like I felt like I couldn't go and take an idea that I've already kind of developed. You know. Yeah. Uh, I was like, this has to be completely e- e- so, totally. Yep. Um, but yeah, that was an interesting, interesting thing because having like random words thrown at me like helped me actually break through my need to rhyme everything. Yeah. <laughs> and I write, and I'm writing just like focused on lyrics. I try to rhyme everything, and I hate it. Yeah. And everything just becomes too like section, mm-hmm. you know. Yep. Great. So yeah. that that actually really did help. Just having random words thrown in, random sentences, um, that helped loosen it up a little bit. Yeah. Very cool. I mean, I love the vibe, and I really it makes me want to know more uh, about the story. Like I, I I assume this is you would consider this maybe wet clay kind of. Yeah. Something you might come back to. Yeah. Yeah, to exactly. me, oh, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, it's something that like I would like listening to it back. Actually, mm-hmm. I was like, okay, like it has a vibe. Yeah. I feel like it's very coffee shop, like very. What's the word? It's very emotional, I guess. Uh-huh. It's not something that would really grab anyone's attention. I don't think, at least. To me, I don't know. Just I mean, <laughs> I, I'm a sucker for this exact thing. Maybe, I'm not I'm, kidding. I think I am overthinking it. I always do this. Oh, of like, course. To make it like more memorable, or how yeah. like something more catchy or more biting, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'd probably like revisit some of the words and switch them out or mm-hmm. do something a little bit more. I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah, I I would change a few things. Yeah. Well, I think it's, I personally, I think there's a ton of meat on the bone here. Um, I would, I had an emotional moment listening to it. And I think um, if I had the opportunity to, like this is the kind of song that I want to listen to you know, with my headphones on, with my eyes closed and just, well, I guess I am. Uh, but this, um, I don't want to be hyperbolic, right? Just to, just to pump you up, even though I'm a big fan of yours, but I would come back to this song that's, if as a listener multiple times. So that's, that's really cool. I love it. I, you know, before we move on, cause I'm, I'm so excited. <laughs> What I tend to do when I listen back, mm-hmm. I need to stop. I listen back from the perspective of someone that is very critical, you know? Like, sure. Just like literally, like, you kind know, of someone like at a bar that's like, you know? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, well, what wouldn't they like about it? I'm not thinking about what would they like about it. I'm thinking yeah. about the part that sucks. Mm hmm is really sad because like i feel like that sucks the joy out of the writing and the song and the music itself. So yeah like, get out of that yeah yeah and i i mean i think there's a lot of this past year i've i i joined the songwriters organization so i've just met you know 20 or 30 other songwriters this year and it's interesting like how the same things like that come up not with everybody, right? But there's just a lot of people who are like, I don't know about you, but about 
ninety percent of the time, you know, ten percent of the time you have that rare spark where it's just like, that's a good song. I, I, even I, my biggest critic, can't. Yes. Right, tear that apart. There's some things to correct, but generally it's a good song. Ninety percent of the time, I finish a song and I'm like, this is the worst thing I've ever created, and this is stupid. And it's amazing how many other artists and songwriters go through that exact, yeah. you know, thing. And yeah, yeah it's so. crazy. I really thought that I was terrible, but I guess every artist, you know, is their right. biggest critic. That makes me feel a little bit better. <laughs> I think uh, the guy who, one of the guys who writes South Park, uh, you know, they've been on the air for 20 whatever seasons and won awards he's he said that that at every episode he thinks this is the worst episode i've ever written and he means it you know but it's just funny how our our internal critic is is such a jackass so <laughs> well, well thank you for that feedback. thank you for sharing it i can't wait to hear more of this so how about you how all right you challenge first of all did you <clears throat> You excited? Were you nervous? I was excited and nervous. Great. Yeah, uh, because of what I just described, right? And so I have, a, I have, I don't know, four journals, mm -hmm. chock full of stupid ideas. <laughs> I say stupid ideas. I don't know. Somebody else might look at them and go, "There's gold in here." But to me, I look back and I go, "That is the cringiest." you know, most trite, like straight down the fairway lyrics I can think of. Um, yeah, right. So, uh, so I was nervous about the idea of letting somebody else into see that stuff. Um, so yeah, but I was excited because um, it feels good to do something. Yeah. You know what I mean? It feels good. I've talked a big game on this kind of stuff for a long time. Like I want to get better at songwriting. I want to really be a songwriter. And it's like, well, guess what? There's one way you do that. So it feels good to actually put uh, a pen to paper, so to speak, and uh, know that we have a deadline and, and also know that I have a partner. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, and again, not to gush too much uh, about you, Hosanna, but somebody that I really think highly of and really respect so that it's like, well, take it seriously and try. You know what I mean? As opposed to not to say like, I need to do better than Hosanna, but like, I just like your songs, right? So, you I, know what? Right back at you. And, um, <clears throat> I you. think the for me, it's not healthy, but it's my best form of motivation is fear of humiliation. <laughs> you and I know that you know what a good song yep. is. So, yep. I know that whatever I bring to you, you're gonna give me honest feedback. Yeah, I, I will. That. Yep here keeps me going all yeah. right okay okay so i have my lyrics up here um now this i'll just play the song and i'll put my uh my lyrics up and then i'll then i'll talk about it when the ripping through my hair dirt swirling on Sunset paints the sky, every orange, red, and blue forever etched into my mind. Well, I go back there all the time. And my childhood memories take to fly. That I had when I was nine Yeah Every year it gets harder To remember who I was All the pictures of A little boy making faces Of cake and mud I can hear the whisper 
the me I used to know now was climbing trees, digging holes, or out rolling in the snow. I go back there all the time. My childhood memories take to Just out riding my bike Well, I missed the freedom Just to be That I had when I was nine Oh, and I go back there All the time My childhood memories Take to fly Hosanna. <clears throat> what the hell? <laughs> that like, like I, I don't know. Maybe this is just like the place in life I am in right now. But that hit me. Hmm. It's like the theme of it. I think you know. <clears throat> I noticed like the, the first of all, I love the the progression. Thanks. I, you yeah. know I, what? So wait, what was the first chord? What? Um, C major seven. And it's in C? Yeah. Oh, so it's just a Well, word. sort of. Because I know there's there's some non-diatonic chords happening there, right? Yeah. So, well, yes, that's right. So there's, I, I and I, my theory is not good enough. I could sit down I, and if I wrote it out, I could figure out what was happening there, sure. but I'm not. I just know it wasn't just like, you know. One, four, five. Exa exactly yeah <laughs> I loved it. i'm a sucker for that kind of stuff i think <laughs> what um what works so well is is actually the theme so hmm. you open with these beautiful visuals it's funny that you said you're not a visual person because i feel like lyrically that was hmm. very vibrant hmm. like you like i could picture every like you were describing a scene in every single part of that song I could picture it, you know, mm -hmm. which makes it super, super memorable. Hmm. And and it ties it in with the melody. It was just like, I, I mean, it was like all the senses, hmm. which is funny because like I, when I did a, there was a songwriting challenge that some guy like did. Um, and one of his challenges was like, try to incorporate as many of the senses as you can. Interesting. Because as you're listening, you're imagining every single one of those. It becomes yeah. more memorable. It's more tangible. You did that just automatically you just did all of those things so just, and then that combined with the non-diatonic like chord progressions like it just felt dreamy like it just yeah. felt like hmm. very nostalgic somehow you know that's even good I've, I've never heard this song before but that it nostalgic <laughs> felt like oh it's so beautiful and then i've always loved your voice i mean that's just, thank you it's just ridiculous like you, know, <laughs> you have just such a consistent vibrato and you you know what i really appreciate is the way that you actually you change even you know when you go back to the same melody or the same mm -hmm. chorus or whatever you always change something mm -hmm. and just a, just a little bit and it's just enough um that you you maintain the repetition that you need to make it feel you mm -hmm. know like a song yeah uh, but you have the little changes that add a little bit of flavor yeah. and i really really like that thank um, you dang like that was 
beautiful. Like I, I want to go back and listen to it like right now. <laughs> Thank you so much. I, I, I don't know if you felt this way uh, when I was giving you feedback, but I kind of can't believe someone else likes it. Uh, I mean, it just, you know what I mean? Like, I know what you mean. I know. Yeah. It's like, uh, I know I've heard worse songs, right? But I, I, uh, and <clears throat> I, that really means a lot to me, everything you shared. Thank you. And, and it's interesting you're saying about it being a visual, um, painting such a picture because I don't typically, I almost, almost always start songwriting with lyrics hmm. and, um, it's actually something I really want to get away from. And I do have, you know, I use logic and sometimes you just mess around or playing guitar and I find something and I just stash it away for yeah. another day. But almost always when I say I'm going to go write songs, I almost always sit down with my notepad first. Mm -hmm. And I, um, Dave Bazan talked about um, how his favorite way to write songs, and I, this is several years ago, so maybe he wouldn't agree with this anymore. His favorite way to write songs are to sit down at a piece of paper with no idea what he's going to write about. And so I've been trying that to just kind of like excavate a little bit, like what's what's in there. So this was interesting to sit down with the guitar first. And um, I don't know why I played a major seven chord, but I always like them. And then I just moved up, you know, uh, four frets on the guitar. I was like, oh, well, that's kind of fun. And and that just led to all these other things. And then I was left with, um, what, what is this song about now? Like, how does it feel? And uh, I heard Eddie Vedder once say that when the band would bring him uh, music, they'd bring him a song. He said, I'll close my eyes and try to imagine, like, where am I when I hear this song? And I don't know why, but something popped into my head. I have this memory of, I grew up in Oklahoma, <clears throat> and my dad, he had this old blue farm truck with no tailgate on it. And he would drive us down to the lake, um, you know, 10 miles away or so. And on the way back, the us kids, we'd sit in the back. We always did. We rode everywhere in the back of the truck. And I, <laughs> I remember my best friend and I, <clears throat> we would have a towel. And we would lean out the side of the truck. And then we'd pull the towel like that. So the wind would catch it and hit you in the face. I don't know why we thought that was funny. But now I look back and go, how did we not die? <laughs> So, oh, yeah. it, this was the memory in my mind when I was, uh, when these I, was, I started playing these chords, was like just being in the back of the truck and the wind and the sky and uh, just dirt and just, you'd just been at the lake and everything was, uh, you know, yeah. it was perfect. Life was perfect. Yep. Um, and uh, I think one thing I really want to, I want to work on during this challenge is, <clears throat> I, str I struggle with kind of like you talked about, like everything has to rhyme. Mm -hmm. For me, I really struggle with um, what is this song about? Or what is the story? What's the kind of poignant truth that I'm trying to extract? Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't intend to write a song about, you know, sort of my the innocence of child, missing the innocence of childhood. But like, that's kind of where my brain always it always tries to take it to um, something I can just put a bow on and say, this is the thought. Mm -hmm. So I really was trying to write something more ambiguous and poetic and uh, I know, nebulous. But this, I, I mean, in this case and for this song, it needed to be. I feel like it, sh it shouldn't be more ambiguous yeah. than this. Like, because it's such a beautiful co concept. The whole idea of nostalgia about your childhood. It doesn't have to be ambiguous. It's just like, yeah. this is good. Yeah. Yeah, and it, it was interesting today. I was working on it today, uh, trying to get in under the wire. Uh, I kind of just gave up fighting fighting that fight. So I was like, this is what the song's about. Just write it. Just stop being so precious about it. And, you know. Then here uh, it is. Yeah. I, lo so, I love it. Thank you very much i uh, i think i might go back and tighten up some of the maybe the melody just uh some items there and a part of that is uh working around like you said non-diatonic chord progressions i was like uh i don't know where you know what note is 
working right. in the chords versus my vocal performance here. So I think I need to tighten some of that up. But I thought it was yeah. beautiful. I, you know, because I, I didn't even understand what diatonics were until not too long ago. But yeah. um, I always knew that I liked those weird sounding mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. changes. So huge fan. You just listen to it. If it sounds cool, it's cool. Because it's cool. <laughs> that's right. You know what it is. Yeah. yeah. But so. man, that's awesome. I'm so excited about this. This is Yeah, me too. Like, I was excited because I'd be writing songs, yeah. you know, but like even more so, I'm excited because I get to hear yeah. a Jeremy original every uh, week. I feel the same. I feel the same. This next week, are there any parameters you would like to set or anything that you would like to focus on to challenge yourself? Um. I don't think so. Um, I am, my next song will be in Logic. Uh, so I will record it in Logic. And that's something else. And I, I guess I'm really just saying this for, uh, for me and for anybody else who might listen to this is, I found one of my big struggles to finishing songs has been production. Mm -hmm. So, um, cause you spend, I'm not a great guitar player. Like I can comp chords. Well, I just mean if I have a lead part or something, it takes me take after take after take after take. And eventually I spent three hours just on a, you know, on a lead guitar part. And I don't want to come back and do that again the next day. You know what I mean? Yep, I get that. So um, I have started just like, get the idea on your phone, get it down, right? And you can come back and, uh, but I think for this next week, I definitely want to do it in logic to a click um, with all that. And I think, um, Again, I, I, I don't have any idea of what I'm going to start writing about tomorrow. Um, but that is something I want to start these things and give myself a whole week to work on them. Yeah. Um, although, again, I did find something kind of cathartic about just real, just reminding myself today that, like, you don't have time. <laughs> you got to do it. So, you know all the words in the that you need to say what you need to say, just put them down and move on. Yeah. So that was liberating. That's cool. I think, yeah. well, first of all, I'm going to start tomorrow, <laughs> yep. uh, Friday. <laughs> That's a, a good tip, good challenge for myself. Yeah. But beyond that, I think I want to, because um, my default is to write on the piano. Mm -hmm. My second is the guitar, but I mm. recently injured my fingers so i can't oh. put the guitar at all it hurts yep. so i'm now left with my doll so i might what i might do is actually start with a beat I'm oh gonna, nice I don't, I don't do that a lot so I think yeah i'm gonna try starting with a beat that's awesome yeah. one of the things i wanted to do this during this challenge is do something entirely in logic so mm -hmm. only i'm not a piano player uh, but only using my midi keyboard you know, to hash out all the parts. So, well, and my voice, but yeah. So oh, that's, that's cool. Fun. Yeah. Well, this is so cool. I'm yeah. so excited about it. Me too. This. Thank you for inviting me to do this. Thank I'm you for, honored. yeah, for being my friend and for participating and for being a killer songwriter and musician. Can't wait to hear next week. Can't wait to hear your next song. So excited.